we're in the final few minutes at Strikerland, and the score is still tied. But Liquido makes another break for goal. And he's fast as ever, 18 miles an hour. But if there's one man who can keep up with him, it's Twisting Tiger. 19 miles an hour. 20 miles an hour for Laquido. Oh, 21 for Tiger! from Laquido. But the ref says play on. Looks like you need a new lucky charm, bro. With Twisting Tiger on the ground, no one can catch Laquido. Goal! It's one nil to the visitors. And there's Laquido's signature shirt up celebration. Can you believe that guy? Yeah, Laquido totally fouled you, Tiger. Just wait till next game. You're gonna own him. Oh, please. If you think you're gonna get lucky at the floating stadium, you're wrong. I'm always faster at home. Voila! Hmm. Too much fat, too much sauce, and too much food. I need the guys lean and mean for the return leg. I am Jacques Cousteau, creator of culinary intrigue. I am not here to help people diet. Sorry, Jacques. Extreme circumstances call for extreme preparation. Isn't that right, boys? Whoa, <laughs> Whoa this is awesome, coach. Uh, what are we doing in here? Ruff? No, oh, nah. Well, it's quite possible Hydro are the fastest team in the Super League because of their ingress to the greatest natural resistance training apparatus in the known universe. Um, uh, can you translate that for the average human? <laughs> and also for El Mapador, please. Hydro train underwater. He's a gargamel Exactly, Block. Water is a thousand times denser than air. Training in it will make playing on land seem like, well, actually running on air. Okay, let's see if underwater training has made you any faster on land. Fastest first. Yeah, look out, Liquido. Tiger, you hit 24 miles per hour last game. Let's see if you can beat that. Gotcha, coach. 20... Sticks! Unbelievable. Dude! Oh, man. And... The longer you train in water, the faster you'll be. We leave for the floating stadium in three days. Uh, back in the tank? Back in the tank. Seven years at ship school. Nine years at Bistro Bazanto. Six Michelin stars for this. What is this? It's what I call rice limage. Rice on a bit of more rice in the shape of your face. <laughs> Come on, coach. We've trained underwater the whole week. Can't we have some real food? Your training will count for nothing if you aren't lean and mean, boys. Yeah, coach. We're lean and you're mean. How about a deal? If we beat Hydra, we get to have an awesome feast right here on the way home. So, what do you say, coach? <sighs> sure. Yeah! <laughs> 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 You ready to lose again? Don't be so sure, dude. Yeah, been doing some underwater training of our own. What? Did you practice in the bathtub? We train in the ocean, right up until the game. 
That's why we're always faster at home. Tiger hit 28 miles an hour. Yeah, that's right. He'd beat you for pace anytime, any place. Oh, yeah? How about right now? On the bottom of the ocean. What? I don't know about this, guys. Next level underwater training? A chance to show Liquido up? Come, Come on, on, dude! dude. <sighs> Fine. Compact breathing apparatus? Air lasts for ages. Comms device built into your mask. Good for dissing. <gasps> Weight belt. Stops you from floating back up to the surface. Helpful. have a choice. Been thrown in the deep end. You see anything? Too far down. Man, worst FOMO ever. Ready to be school. <laughs> Day, bro. No! Wait, Liquido! How do I get this belt off? With my lucky charm. Mwah. <laughs> uh, Tiger? <gasps> yeah! You weigh a ton, <sighs> dude! How do you get this thing off? You can't! Liquido set me up. There's only one key, and he has it. Oh, that sea snake. Yeah, what was I thinking? We gotta tell Coach. No, 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 no. Don't need to bother him, dude. We'll totally find the key. Hmm, I don't know. Come on, we got this. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> You've heard of the Super League, right? Now, low in fat, low in amoeba acids, and low in taste as well, I give you Super Legumes. Uh, beans? Yeah, beans. All worth it when we beat Hydra, boys. Any luck? <sighs> no sign of the key. Or Liquido. Tiger? Uh, Jock! So, how's the celebration menu coming along? It will be one of the finest meals I have ever made. And definitely the finest meal any of you have eaten. Really? Like, what are you thinking? Uh, how about hot dogs, Jock? <laughs> of course! Yeah, you bet I want good dog. to me. I would rather make the diet food. Stupid! Faulty chair? Uh, what a weak chair, right? I know what's going on here. Tiger. You haven't been sticking to the diet, have you? Uh, busted, Tiger. <laughs> Get back on track, Tiger. We need you in top form tomorrow. <sighs> Too close. 
You guys said you get me out of this thing. Now do it. Telling coach. <sighs> aye, aye, aye. Oh, uh, oh no! This is bad. Uh, you must really feel like you have the weight of the world on your shoulders. It isn't the weight of the world. It's Hydra's weight. Weren't you listening? Oh, sorry, guys. I've let everyone down. I was ready for this game, and now I'm useless. <sighs> Coach, we'll do whatever it takes to sort this out. Correct. You two are getting the toughest job on the pitch. Twisting Tiger's job. You're marking Laquido. Tiger, just because you're on the bench doesn't mean we don't need you 100% focused on this game. Sure, Coach. First health food, now. <clears throat> At Doug's. I feel so ashamed. Hey, Mr. Chef, you open for business? <laughs> I am Jacques Cousteau. I serve kings, not peasants. Aw, oh, come on, dude. Game's about to start, and I gotta get my munch on. Yeah, we'll eat whatever. Prepare yourselves for the gourmet feast of a lifetime. Match day at the Floating Stadium. Oh boy, here we go, Brenda. Tiger versus Laquido, the battle of the speedsters. Uh, I don't think so, Mac. Uh, what is Coach thinking? He's put his fastest player on the bench. But, but, why? And we're off. Can Super Strikers contain Liquido without twisting Tiger? Shakes immediately marks Liquido. But you don't need a speed tracker to know he's just not fast enough. Too soon, Brenda. Too soon. Now <laughs> North is on Liquido. Coach no. isn't giving Hydra an inch. Laquito's through on goal! What great last-ditch tackle from North Shaw! <laughs> this is a good start from Super Strikers. Shakes and North are making life tough for Laquido. I don't know if I can keep this up for 90 minutes. Maybe we don't have to. Follow my lead. Prepare to have your taste buds enlightened. Uh, you don't do hot dogs? You said you did anything I served. Yeah, but it's a soccer match, bud. You gotta make hot dogs. The hot dogs are for Super Strikers. If I give them to you, what would they eat? <laughs> Two hot dogs coming right up. We are well into the final third, and still no sign of Twisting Tiger. <laughs> wow, Liquido, you are fast. Huh. Don't you know it? Pity you don't have a chance to prove you're the fastest. Huh? Well, Tiger did beat you on your underwater pitch. Uh, hello? I threw the underwater game? Sure you did, buddy. In a real race, I take Twisting Tiger any day. Oh, yeah? 
prove it. <laughs> right. You want me to give you the key. Nice try. But this game ain't for pride. It's for points. Super Striker's two-on-one strategy has caved in. And here comes Liquido's shirt-up celebration. Uh, or not. Huh? <gasps> How do I get this belt off? With my lucky charm. Coach, Liquido's signature celebration. He didn't do it. So? Put me on, and I'll find out. Can you even get close to Liquido with that belt on? One chance is all I need. <laughs> Hundreds of hot dogs, ready to roll! Woohoo! Nice. delicious! Two for me, please! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man! Gotta scram! Something big's happening! Good riddance to bad nourishment. Tell your friends, okay? Super Striker's substitution. Ah, finally! But it hasn't worked. <laughs> Guess we have final proof your charm isn't lucky, bro. You should worry about your own lucky charm. <gasps> what? Underwater training makes you fast? It's nothing compared to weight belt training. Liquido shoots! Big Bo is beat! What? Looks like the tide may have turned. <laughs> Come on, dude. I thought you'd take Twisting Tiger any day. <sighs> 29 miles an hour for Tiger! But Liquido is still on him, Max. <laughs> Hey, Liquido. See? My lucky charm always delivers. Hey, uh, do you think if I kissed that thing, I'd get more lucky? <coughs> <coughs> well done, Tiger. That was some plan. Now, unless I'm mistaken, it's time to chow down on some epic hot dogs! Woohoo! <laughs> Get your hot dogs here! The finest hot dogs ever created! Hey! Isn't that our celebration meal? <laughs> now that's fast food! Jacques, what is going on here? I'm just giving the people what they want. And they wanted hot dogs! But what are we gonna eat? Finally, a five-star gourmet fist pit for Super League Kings. Bon appétit, Super Strikers. Uh, 
What is that? Uh. <laughs> Being the most refined of all of you, I love this gourmet food. Snails and fish eggs. Whoa! Coach, where are Tiger Shakes and North? Do you really think I'd let them join the feast after the stunt they pulled? Oh, shame. Poor guys. All right, Tiger! <laughs> Uh, but how? They ran out so fast. Not as fast as me. <laughs> Hi, guys. Welcome to another Orion Fan Report, live from the Soccer Sphere. We have some pretty tough games coming up. First, Invincible United, then Super Strikers? But as always, in Coach Black we trust. What? What is that? There's been an alien fighting at a soccer stadium. A close encounter of the first kind. But is it legitimate? Impossible to tell. We need a man on the ground. Anyone know anything about football? Uh, that's the one with the ball, right? I've already identified the perfect candidate. He knows soccer. He has access to the stadium. And most importantly, he's a believer. Klaus, prepare to make contact. We've just witnessed the upset of the season, boys. Orion anticipated Invincible United's every move, predicted their every strategy, and dominated the scoreline. I know how they did it. Coach Black has been getting help from aliens. This again? Uh, Klaus. I watched this clip like 20 times. I'm telling you guys, it's real. There's no such thing as aliens. Those videos are just CGI. <laughs> Klaus has been spending way too much time on the bench, coach. If it isn't aliens, how did Orion know Invincible United's entire game plan? Coach Black obviously studied their previous games and learned their strategies. But what if he's done the same to us, Coach? Don't worry. I've developed two all-new, never-before-seen moves. It's of the utmost importance that we keep them top secret. That means no talking about them. I don't even want you to think about them because the aliens can read our brainwaves, right? Focus on these moves, not UFO sightings. Got it? Got it, coach. You'd think it was match day at the soccer sphere, but actually, Orion Stadium is now the world's newest alien sightings hotspot. Take me home, E.T. They live amongst us, man. The lights, they're coming for us! I'm now joined by Orion manager Coach Black, live from his observatory on top of the soccer sphere. Coach Black, what do you make of these so-called UFO sightings? <laughs> the lads are merely a beautiful cosmic ray shower. Ha, huh. I bet his alien overlords told him to say that. Turn that thing off already. El Matador must go betty by. Your side destroyed Invincible United last week. Some people... Claim you were helped by, you know, these, these... Aliens? <laughs> that is priceless. <laughs> but seriously, my secret is just a uh, thorough preparation. Well, it seems like the sky's the limit for Orion. As for the UFOs, I'll leave that to the experts. The truth is totally out there, man. The lights! They're still coming for us! Why wouldn't they come to Earth? Huh? Who are you? We're a top secret organization of specialists. We search for and monitor alien activity on Earth. We're the first, second, middle, second last, and only line of defense. We are the National Extraterrestrial Reconnaissance Division. Oh. Ow. Ah. He always 
always does this. The intention was for this to remain a clandestine operation, you dope. Sorry, guys. If it makes you feel any better, you put on a great show. Now, what do you guys want? We know you've been watching the Lights of Orion footage. Of course. It's the most conclusive proof we are not alone. We're looking for someone who can find out the truth about the lights. Someone with access to the soccer sphere? We're looking for someone like you, Klaus. What? Me? An alien hunter? Ah, I can't. What? <laughs> Why not? We've got a big game coming up. I need to concentrate on our new... <gasps> not meant to talk about them. <gasps> not even meant to think about them. Sorry, I'm not your guy. <gasps> I knew it! Top circles! I told you guys there were aliens here. Oh, please! There is a perfectly rational explanation for this. Yep. I made them. Huh? <gasps> no wonder you wanted me to keep quiet about the aliens. You're one of them. There's no way I was going to teach you the top secret. You know what? Then practice them at Orion's home stadium the day before the game. So I created the most private training facility in town. <gasps> this is the last time you're going to see these moves. So pay attention. No peeking defenders. Hmm? We're going to test these moves on you guys. Move one uses the overlap to find space behind the defense. Ain't getting past us, bro. I know, but El Matador will. Move two uses pace and passing to break through the opposition defense. <laughs> nice work, boys. You get all that? I may need you out there tomorrow. Yes, coach. There's no way Orion will see these moves coming. Haven't you watched that video enough? Beauty sleep required. Where is your rational explanation for this, El Matador? Ah, uh, that is just uh, Orion testing their floodlights. Floodlights coming from the sky? Well, it still makes more sense than aliens. You're so sure about it, let's go find out. Reports are streaming in. It's happening again. That's not all. Klaus is on the move, heading right for the stadium. Ha! I knew he couldn't resist the search for the truth. Wait, we're tracking Klaus? Oh, you guys never tell me anything. Yeah, that's because you tell your mom all our secret information. No, I don't. Hmm. Klaus seems to have activated the camera on his Digitab. I should be able to access the feed. Whoa! Oh, oh, Mom! You gotta see this! Oh, Super League legends sneaking around like grave robbers. I can't believe I let you talk me into this. Klaus? Huh? Am I dreaming? Only if you are dreaming about how right I was. Hey, 
Is it just me, or are these lights following a pattern? a pattern, yeah? Definitely a sign of intelligent life. <gasps> Match day. On form Orion, take on the mighty Super Strikers. Here at the Soccer Sphere, it's come one, come all for alien enthusiasts. Although someone needs to tell them they're here to watch the football, not the skies. One man who will definitely be keeping his eyes on the game is Orion's coach, Black, still in his observatory. Yes, Lina. From up here, I have a perfect view of the galaxy and what's happening on the beach. Hmm. The lights, <laughs> they're coming. <laughs> they take your brain waves. Wow. I didn't know crazy was contagious. What's gotten into you, El Matador? What? There's something inside me? Ah! Oh, they laid their alien eggs inside of me! Oh, get them out! Get them out! <laughs> Tell me, Klaus, where do you think El Matador got all these crazy ideas? You got to listen to me. The lights, save us. Say lights one more time. I dare you. As for you, I don't care if an alien invited you to a tea party. You're in the starting lineup. Game on! Super Strikers may be in good form, but they've never played against a team receiving help from out there. Oh, Mac, not you too. <laughs> I'm just getting into the spirit of things, Brenda. Super Strikers attack and attack. But Orion are way ahead of them. Almost as if they're getting help from... Don't you say it, Mac. Move one. Daring pass from Dancing Rasta. They obviously practiced that one in training. That Twisting Tiger's run straight into a dead end. Oh, no, he hasn't. Ha-ha! Brilliant deception from Super Strikers. Wow. Heads up! Ha-ha! <laughs> no way! Once again, Orion are just too good! How did Maiden know? Last chance of the first half. Come on, dude! It's up to us! Okay, let's do it, Shakes! Huh? Ah! <laughs> <gasps> They're here! Aliens! <laughs> El Matador certainly keen to get back to the locker room. Maybe he needs the toilet. <laughs> Phew! That was a close one. Huh? Coach! You can sub me, drop me from the team, make me wash everyone's dirty socks, but you have to listen to me about the lights. Ugh. Fine. You have my attention. 
the lights I saw last night for tracing out the exact patterns of our secret moves. Even if I did believe you, how can you prove this? I recorded it all on my Digitab last night. But I dropped it. Face it, Klaus. You don't have proof because there's no such thing as aliens. <sighs> In here. What is this? National Extraterrestrial Reconnaissance Division at your service. And the art nerd? Really? What are you guys doing here? We've been trying to contact you, man. Uh, last night in the cornfield? That was you? You scared the pants off me. Why did you dress like that? Uh, why wouldn't we dress like this? There's something you all need to see. Klaus, we accessed the video you recorded on your Digitab last night. Well, I never. Klaus is right. Those lights are following the exact patterns of our moves. And check this out. Beta? Please! So that's how Orion knew our first secret move. But where are the lights coming from? Please don't say aliens. The truth is actually up there. You can try any secret move you want, but you won't stand a chance against Orion. Because I have reached new heights of football excellence! <laughs> In space, no one can hear you laugh. So where's Coach Black? <coughs> Observe. He was up in space the whole time. After surveilling your moves from his space station, he traced them out with the lights, teaching his players how to counter them. And the UFO hysteria was the perfect cover-up. I knew there was something weird about those interviews. <laughs> <sighs> Klaus, you have great intuition, both on and off the pitch. I should have trusted you more. Uh, sorry to ruin the moment, but how's knowing this going to help us in the second half? Yeah, we only have one move left, and you know the cat's out of the bag on that one. Well, Coach Black doesn't know that we are onto him. What are you thinking, Klaus? I have an idea for another new move. With the score still deadlocked, Coach is making his first substitution. Strange decision. Klaus hasn't been on the first team for ages. Ah, hello, Mr. Snooper Striker. You were terrified of the lights last night, but you're about to find out how scary they really are. <laughs> Move to brothers. Come on. <laughs> Just as expected. <laughs> I hope you're watching. Shakes to Twisting Tiger. Back to Shakes. Another failure. Orion saw the danger a mile away. Nowhere to go, Shakes. <laughs> huh? But Orion have left Klaus open in the middle. That's not move two. Follow Klaus. Follow Klaus. Follow Klaus!
Does that make you a believer, Brenda? No comment. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Wait, that means Super Strikers won, right? No idea. Yes! They won! Yeah! <laughs> I gotta call my mom! Yeah! yeah! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Did they do it? I hate them. I hate them. I... Self-destruct oh. mechanism activated. No. Yes, you have 20 seconds to enter the escape pod. Stupid ship. You have 10 seconds to enter the escape pod. Star. <laughs> Make a wish, bro. Ha, uh, it already came true. V1. Accuracy, boys. Yeah. Looking good, Captain. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. good isn't good enough. Oh, come on, Coach. Coach, we're totally awesome! No? Take a look at this. Colonel Von Pushup, you just crushed Hydra in their home waters. How'd you do it? Johan Uber's marshalling in the midfield was visionary. Thor's shooting was unstoppable. And no one can get past our newest weapon, the Mangler. <laughs> Are you confident you can execute the same against Super Strikers next week? The Fortress Stadium may be up in the mountains, but Super Strikers are going down. <sighs> this is Lena Long, Football 360, signing out. <laughs> Feeling warm and looking good. This is why I never pack light. Coach, uh, can we have our secret training mission somewhere warmer? I want you all ready for the extreme cold before we play at the Fortress Stadium. That's not gonna help us if we can't get past the Mangler. Dude's super scary. It's like he reacts before you even kick the ball. That's why we have this. A ball? This new plan of yours is pure genius, Coach. This isn't any ball. Whoa. It's GPS chipped for tracking speed, air pressure, and direction. If you can kick the ball harder than 100 miles an hour, you can beat the Mangler. Man, that's fast. Never stop believing. It is possible, Shakesman. Right, guys? <laughs> Dot the spirit block. R. Drago? Super Strikers, this is your pilot speaking. Please fasten your seatbelts. We're in for an interesting landing. Attention, Iron Tank! This is your coach speaking! Ah, we can hear you! We are right here, Colonel! Colonel, I have picked up a nearby GPS signal! All the way out here? Hmm. Directive, change course! Ah, directive understood. Ah! Smooth landing, hey eh, boys? Man, too smooth. <laughs> Big Bull, your mangler for the afternoon. Sure thing. How's this? <laughs> Not bad. 
The rest of you, let's get to it. Make it fast, Shakes. Sure thing, Coach. <laughs> Bring it. It's Super Strikers. What are they doing here? Directive Libri! Of all the icebergs they could run into, it had to be ours? Blag or blag? Smooth, smooth, smooth. Talking in code. Very clever. Colonel, the chipped object is moving. Directive, find the source of the signal. Already have. Let Whoa. me see. A GPS ball? I think I know what Super Strikers are up to. Bond push up. If I'd known you were visiting, I would have tidied up. Well, considering we are here, how about a little friendly? You're on. Mm. <laughs> Colonel, the ball reached 72 miles an hour. Ha! Takes more than that to beat the mangler. Shakes, man! Hands up! Yes! Colonel! Dancing Rasta beats the mangler! What? Directive! Get the ball! Directive understood. That was amazing, Captain. How did you do it? You won't believe what happened. I... Huh? Where's he off to? <gasps> the ball! Captain, wait! Iceberg now. We're all taking a long, cold swim. Come on, Captain.
feeling the cold yet? I'm just getting warmed up, man. Mission. Don't worry, guys. I know just how to wake him up. <gasps> oh, dude. Nope. He's out cold. <laughs> Dude, you killed him! <laughs> Sorry. Cold messes with our equipment all the time. Is he gonna be okay, Doc? Your captain's had a serious shock to the system. His body isn't used to such extreme cold. Unfortunately, I can't say what will wake him up. He could be asleep for a few hours, or... Or... or what? Or... a very long time. Captain, when you awaken, you will be in this foreign place without the necessities of life. So I leave you this gift, the world's most powerful hairdryer. Technical difficulties? Yeah, water damage. Don't worry. Keeping our equipment running in this court has taught me that sometimes all you need is a little bit of improvisation. <laughs> Targets reacquired. Directive. Libre! Don't worry, the hairdryer trick works every time. How long will it take to dry out? Hmm, difficult to say, but I'll call you as soon as I can access the data. Directive! <gasps> Day at the Fortress Stadium, Brenda, and the teams are warming up. But without dancing Rasta, will Super Strikers be left out in the cold, Mac? Uh, is that what I think it is? Uh huh. Sure you didn't see how Rasta did that power kick? You were right there, brother. Heads up! The mist was too thick. I couldn't see. Huh. Frozen ball, a frozen captain, and a frozen brain. Great. Come on. There's nothing we can do about the ball right now, Shakes. Concentrate on the game. Super Strikers are no nearer to beating the Mangler. Dancing Rasta! Dancing Rasta! Dan I guess they really do need Dancing Rasta, mm -hmm. Mac, but he's... he's nowhere to be seen. Yes! 
<laughs> Directive, move on target. Directive understood. Hi, Shakes. Hello, Doc. Great news. All the data is still intact. Are you with the ball now? No. Why? Approaching target. I would take her after the ball. Don't worry. I'm right next door to... Don't even think about it. No! Directive! Get that ball! Give it up, man! As my doctor, I prescribe lots of rest. Captain, huh? you're okay. Oh, everyone's gonna be so relieved. And you can tell us how you beat the Mangler. Sure. One thing, though. Shoot, Captain. Who are you again? You knew that ball was our best shot, so you tried to steal it again. Yeah, well, it seemed easier than stealing Rasta. <laughs> well, you should have stolen Rasta. Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah! <laughs> Welcome yeah. back, Rasta. Welcome back, dude! Great to meet you. Huh? Oh, right. Shakes told me. We're teammates. This is a cruel disease. How can anyone forget me? Oh. I want to help you guys, but how can I be the captain of the Super Strikers? Hmm. Huh? <laughs> well, if anything's gonna remind you who you are, it's this. Thanks, Shakes. Shakesmon, eh? The real Rasta calls me Shakesmon. Well, he's not here right now, okay? The return of their captain, even from the sidelines, could be just the charm Super Strikers need. Well, he'd better work his magic soon, because Super Strikers are running out of time. Whoa. As the play intensifies, Johan Uber takes things a bit too far. You and your captain are as ineffective as each other. Shakespeare! It was it was just Shakespeare! What's he what's he saying? That's easy. It was downward pressure. Shakespeare. Mm -hmm. Captain on ice, Super Strikers are looking directionless. So, what's the plan? Stand on the ball. Brilliant! 
Uh, no, wait. The exact opposite of that. Downward pressure? Push down on the ball, and it'll shoot out like a rocket. Where do you get this crazy idea from? Dancing Rasta. Um, which Dancing Rasta? He's back, El Matador. He called me Shakesmon. Ugh, guess we got nothing to lose. Except the game, right? Come on, Shakes and El Matador. Time's a ticking. Final chance of the game. <laughs> Team effort, as usual. Now come on, guys, let's go home. I've had enough of this cold. Hey, check it out. Direct view? Scrub! I really, really hate the loudspeaker. I guess Iron Tank's performance was really substandard. <laughs> We're into the final few minutes at the Cauldron. Super Strikers are throwing everyone forward. They're desperate to find the Equalizer. But Grimm's ghoulish defense is holding firm. If anyone can break through, it's El Matador. Super Strikers number 20 has done everything right today. Everything except score a goal, that is. Precision through ball from Dancing Rasta. Shakes draws the defense. It's an open goal! Woohoo! was so busy celebrating, he didn't bother to check if the pool went in. Oh, this is not going to be good for his confidence. It's over for me. Goodbye forever, soccer. Suck it up, bro. We all have a bad game now and then. Ah, you guys don't get it. I'm not special anymore. I'm just a regular player. Like the rest of you. Mm -hmm. uh, read some fan mail, dude. That'll cheer you up. Okay, man. I'll get on to that pronto. We'll see you at training, right? Yeah, yeah. See you there. De Los Santos. How confident are you feeling ahead of Azul's trip to Strikerland? Stopping Super Striker's attack is always a challenge, Lena. <gasps> but I'm feeling up to the job. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> ah, show off. Well, he does have the stats to back the confidence. That's why we'll be playing with three Strikers. Shakes, Klaus, and... Uh... Where is El Mando? Yeah, where is he? I haven't seen him. He had better have a good reason. Hello, you've reached El Matador. I will be unavailable forever. Oh, Still Jeez. this? Don't leave a message, and I won't get back to you. Goodbye. Still down about that miss, eh? Yep, moping at home. Huh. Well, there goes our three striker strategy, brothers. Hmm. Jakes, Klaus, come with me. I have a plan. El Matador's confidence has taken a major hit. I'm counting on you to get his mind right before the Azul game. I don't know, coach. It's gonna take something big to get through to him. Whoa. Oh, oh. Welcome to our football technology vault. I always wondered where you kept this stuff, coach. So we put on the robo suit, grab El Matador, and bring him back, right? <laughs> Not quite. Activate Narcissus protocol. I 
I had a state-of-the-art device created especially for this kind of situation. Ooh, what does it do? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Just find El Matador, press the button, and the device will do the rest. El Matador! And even home! And I thought my place was untidy. Hmm? <gasps> hmm? Dear El Matador the Great, forget what everyone else says, that miss wasn't your fault. It was obviously a bad pass from Shakes. Hmm. Come join your real fans. We believe in you no matter what. He wouldn't have. He, he, he couldn't have. His hair dryer isn't here. He never goes anywhere without it. Oh, he did. I don't know, Coach. He's somewhere in the middle of nowhere. The Dory will get him back. Ooh, I can't wait to see what this baby does. Forget about the device, Klaus. We need to focus on getting El Matador back in time for the game. Hmm. It could be a fold-up helicopter. <gasps> or a hypnosis device. <gasps> Maybe it's a teleporter. A flux capacitor? A spaceship for ants? The world's smallest spotlight? A robotic homing pigeon? A Rubik's sphere? A gravity disruptor? VR projector? A trans-dimensional day spa? A silver snitch? A bright destroyer? A Pokeball? Portable universe? Alien egg? Self-aware magic eight ball? <gasps> I have to know! <laughs> Must find out what it does. Oh! <laughs> ah! <gasps> Too close. Shakes is right. I have to focus on getting El Matador back in time. Back in time. <gasps> Klaus, we're here. Hmm? Gah! Where did he go? <laughs> well, this is definitely the place. There's something fishy going on in there, Junior. Um, I'm looking for a friend. Uh, glasses, ponytail... There are many on board, but only one. Right. <laughs> Thanks. Watch out, Junior. Everyone in there is crazy. Last stop. Everybody off. Ugh. Get El Matador back, back in time. In time. Back in time. <gasps> the question isn't where am I, but when am I? Of course, a time machine. find El Matador, but this is ridiculous. What? Okay, Shakes, activate the device and get El Matador out of here. Easy as... Klaus? Mm. Do not be alarmed by my strange clothes and futuristic haircut. I am a time traveler. Oh, great. Another crazy. 
I don't see anyone else here. First the ponytail guy, then the cheeky one with the spiky hair. The ponytail guy? Yes, the perfect place to get away from yourself, the past. Very clever, El Matador. Uh, where or when did the ponytail guy go? Rejoice! Our king is here! Feel the duty! Feel the duty! <laughs> Almost. It's feel the beauty! Duty! Beauty! Duty? Eh, close enough. See? We are your best fans! Huh? The shame! Ooh. Look! Ooh. He mocks the great one with this incorrect jersey number! What? This the only one in the shop. Mm. Come on, people. <gasps> Feel the duty? He's not worthy of the mighty El Matador. No! 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 Fine. I didn't even want to be part of your stupid club anyway. Sheesh. Those people won't let me anywhere near El Matador. <sighs> Our king is bored and demands entertainment. Who will step up for the skills battle? Winner will be given one-on-one -on -one face time with El Matador himself! Yeah. Gotcha. My shirt! My glasses! My pants! My dignity! <laughs> do any others challenge for an audience with the king? I do. Huh? <gasps> <laughs> there is only one explanation for this. All the El Matadors from every point in time have gathered here. But I need the real El Matador. Good luck, challengers! This guy knows his stuff. Uh, He's not one of us. Shakes, what are you doing here? You have to come back to strike a land, El Matador. We need three strikers to get past De Los Santos. Uh, I'm sorry, Shakes. My place is here now. My people need me. But Super Strikers are your people. Unworthy! Off the team! El Matador, come on! Please! El Matador! I'm sorry, my friend, but this is best. For me and for Super Strikers. This one is big trouble. I don't want him coming back. <laughs> Let me out! Let me out! Let me... <sighs> Thank goodness. Where did you go? I think you mean when did I go? Huh? What are you talking about? Well, it's obvious that El Matador is hiding in the past. That's why Coach gave us the time machine. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Oh, really? Well, what's your big theory then, Shakes? El Matador started a weird fan club consisting entirely of El Matador lookalikes and plans to rule them like a king. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Look, man, who they are or when they are isn't important. What matters is that we get El Matador back. Well, what are we waiting for? Or Raza? Don't say it, dude. When are we waiting for? Oh. Yeah. All right, people, one more time. From the top, feel the beauty. Feel the beauty. Uh, I give up. Hey, El Matador. Oh, feel the beauty? 
we are here to take our El Matador back to the present in the future. Or is that back to the future which was the present? Huh? Get them! Let's find out what this thing really does. If you're watching this, you're in trouble. We all feel lost from time to time. Perhaps you have lost the keys to your Lamborghini. You might have lost your socks. It's in not a time machine? <laughs> Brilliant. The only person El Matador listens to is himself, so Coach made an El Matador hologram to convince him to come back. Then it seems to be working on all of them. Or you're lost contemplating your own beauty. Perhaps you are lost in time, lost in space, and me. But remember, you are the greatest player of the age. Super Strikers need you because, like a Lamborghini, without the key, they just aren't as good. Come on. Come on. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to. Oh, crazies! You need to fulfill your destiny at Strikerland. Help me, El Matador. I am my only hope. You heard the glorious ponytailed leader? Super Strikers need us! Yeah! Yeah! Striker Man! Man! Yeah! Hmm. You may have got me back to Striker Land, but I'm not playing. Hmm. hmm. You did use the hologram, right? It should have worked. We used it all right. Just not how you intended. What are you talking about? Uh, you wouldn't believe me if I told you? The Azul fans are looking confident today, folks. Well, I would too if I had the mighty De Los Santos involved. Odd, though, that Coach has opted to keep El Matador on the bench. Yeah, tough to see Super Strike is getting past Azul's keeper without it. Chance for Super Strikers. What a shot! But not enough to beat De Los Santos. Fun warm up. <laughs> when are we gonna start playing for real? Shakes and Klaus are giving it their all. But it's not enough. De Los Santos is just too good. I have an idea. It's an oldie, but a goodie. We're almost at the end of the first half. Can Shakes and Klaus finally get past De Los Santos? Shakes hits the post! And the ball goes straight to Klaus! Oh! Huh? Come on, Shakes. You beat me with that trick before. It's going to take much more than that to beat me again. Oh. Hate to say it, Coach, but this isn't working. Yeah, we need three strikers out there. We need El Mar Don't even say his name. I don't want to see any more of that guy. Reporting for duty, coach. Uh, yeah, we may have accidentally played the hologram message to a bunch of crazy El Matador fans. Feel the duty! <laughs> That's it. I'm calling security. Coach, hang on a minute. I think there's a way we can use this. I knew you'd come to get me. And that's not the only good news. Really? Yeah, we found your replacement. Ah! I always knew I had it in me to be the best El Matador ever. That's what you wanted, right? No, 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 coach. These are just fans who adore Wonderful. me. Wonderful. With you on board, <laughs> De Los Santos has no chance. Hey, why don't we give him El Matador's locker? 
Oh, perfect! We even have the same number! Yeah, sounds yeah. good mm -hmm. but... Lest you mind, El Matador. No, not at all. Oh, in that case, we can give him your hair dryer too, right? He is the one on the pitch, man. His hair needs to look better than yours. <laughs> That's it! There are plenty of people who look like me, but there is only one El Matador. Prove it. Huh? I'll put you on, but if you don't produce the goods, I'm going to replace you with the El Matador who really wants to be here today. Me, 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 me. Come on, my people. Let's go and beat the Azul. Let's do this. All right. <laughs> yeah. Halftime substitution for the Super Strikers. Coach brings on El Matador. We're well into the second half. Scorers are tight, and Super Strikers are on the attack again. But this time, they've <laughs> unleashed their full firepower. Brilliant build-up play. But it doesn't count for a thing if they can't get it past De La Santos. Klaus shoots. De La Santos saves. Jake latches onto the rebound. De Los Santos saves again. But, but here comes El Matador. Oh, oh, oh. What a completely unorthodox move from El Matador. And he's back. Feel the beauty. <laughs> El Matador really is one of a kind. Uh, someone needs to tell them that. <laughs> he is so ah, it's good to be me. Yes, yes. Come on, come on. Huh? Oh, forget it. I'll get my fish from the supermarket. Scores 2-0 to Super Strikers, and Big Bo's had nothing to do all game. Oh! Ah! Ah! Nakama are in Super Strikers' box! Woo! Ah, nothing to get excited about, Brenda. Block is there. But if he doesn't get this tackle right, it's a penalty for sure. for the big man. Block's the cleanest tackler in the Super League. You rock, Block! The third one. Yeah! yeah! Right, right on, right. man! Listen up, guys. The Robotics and Football Exhibition is coming up next week. Prof? Oh, uh, well, we thought we'd do something special this year, so I've made a robot. Of one of you. Huh? Ah, hmm? uh, <laughs> must be cool Joe. He does the best robot. <laughs> it must be me. Why replicate anyone less good looking than the great El Matador? Huh? Ooh. Ooh. Introducing Roblox. Tony, why does this tin can get to travel with the team? Cause, unlike you lot, Chip T. Chuckerson is going to win me a prize. The game? Against Super Strikers? Oh. The other difference between Chip and you lot is he can actually learn things. Copy movie star. I need your clothes, your boots, and your shin guards. Um, I don't understand, Tony. He's gonna win me the robotics and football exhibit. Danger! 
Iron Tank are already the perfect robots. Ow! No foul, Cleon. No foul. And the Robotics, the robotics in Football, football grand, grand Prize goes, goes to... to... Yes! Yes! Roblox! What? Block, a quick interview, perhaps? I can translate if you want. Been learning Brazilian. Tell me about your robot twin. <laughs> Physically, Roblox is a perfect copy of me. How could they give the award to the robotic dimwit? He's just a mindless replica. So, how's this football? I don't know. Prof says playing against Roblox would be extremely dangerous, because he's all steel and hydraulics. Oh, really? So what will he be doing at Strikerland? Welcome to Strikerland, home of the Super League's greatest team. Ah, a tour guide. So, who do you predict will win this weekend? Super Strikers or Technicali? I predict Super Strikers will prevail in our next game. Nice. Block? Super Block, thanks to Blooger. Um, I'm only halfway through the Brislovian course. Uh, but if you ask me, Lena, I just need to score one goal, and Block will take care of the rest. Not if I take care of Block first. Copy. Block. Rogue, sir. <laughs> Rogue, sir. <laughs> now, if I can just figure out how to get your processor into that lumbering pile of nuts and bolts. Stop! First law of robotics no water. Water will make you malfunction. But you have given me an idea. Technology from previous inventions. For example, I use the analytical algorithm from the magic of Roblox eyes. Water! Get Roblox out of here! Go! Go, Chip! Go! exhibit has been locked down with all robots inside. No, no, no! There was so much he still had to see to do. Shuh, that was one awesome robot block, Prof. In hindsight, it would have been difficult to make a robot as good looking as me. This sucks. Schmeigelfleur. Clear all robot parts. Send those tin cans to the scrapyard. Yes, it worked. And by the time Super Strikers realize they're playing with a robot, half the team will be injured. <laughs> Let's put the robotics exhibit behind us, okay? I don't want it affecting our performance against Technicali. Now, get to it. El Matador? Oh. Uh, my preparation will be purely mental, Coach. Reminding myself how awesomely amazing I am. <sighs> hey, Block. I reckon the best practice I can get is against the world's best defender. You. you seem different. I think I'll do some training where I won't end up in hospital. Oh! These super strikers are too fast and skilled to be injured by Roblox. Hmm? But my players aren't. John J. Johnson Jr. Hi, Tony! I've come up with a strategy for you. Great. Let's hear it. Dribbling. Ah, uh, again? I thought the doctor cleared that up. He means dribbling a soccer ball. I want you to dribble straight at block, John J. Johnson, Jr. Isn't that kind of risky? 
With Roblox on the pitch, there'll be cards for Super Strikers and penalty kicks for Technicali. The robot block. The true legend is over there. Danger! 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 Danger. <laughs> Welcome to Striker Land, home of the Super League Trophy. Let's begin our tour. Circle. Okay, boys, let's call it for today. Be the block. What's up with you? You seem different. Hey, block. You coming? Surely, lad. Something's up with block. He's playing weird, speaking weird. Shaw shakes, dude. It's not like you're an authority on Breslovian. Yeah, brother. Aren't you still learning? <laughs> Cassette tape? Yeah, latest technology in Breslovia. <laughs> <laughs> Gerbil, Zerk, Glarg, Bzork. Now you say it. Gerbil, Zerk, Glarg, Bzork. Yep, I know that one. Next up, Zerk, Lagerb, Blurgle, Strazer. Blurgle, Strazer. Hey! <sighs> okay, tape six. Huh? Weird. Where are six to nine? Are you ready for the final level of Learn Breslovian? Here we go. Rarl clad Zuzangle crad blook to Razbrico. Got it. Huh. If my Brazilian isn't dodgy, then what's up with block? Next up, Zorg Lang the Zirkle Bark. Oh! Tapes! Block the rug! Block! One of our main values at Striker Land is determination. It's much day and fight one. No matter where you are, whatever you're doing, it's a fantastic day for a bit of football. Super Strikers have been looking good, but Chuck T. Chipperson is in great form. Block will need to be on top of his game, Mac. I'm sure he will be uh, He's so reliable, always there when Super Strikers need him. <laughs> Block. We need to talk. Purple. Zergle Purple Gerb? The rather Grinlock, to Colonel for Boomba. He says he's been under a lot of pressure lately. Wow, Chicks. Your Brislovian has really improved. Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> Block. I know something's wrong. Your game, your Brislovian, it's like you're a different person. Excuse me? You took my tapes. But why would you need to learn Brislovian? Because you're not Block. You're Roblox. You can't go out there. You, you can't play. You'll hurt people. Roblox, listen to me! Please remember to look after your belongings during the tour. And last out, last week's man of the match, Block! Oh, no! He's a machine, Brenda. Well, where's Shake? I. Thought we had a first choice 11 on both sides. Klaus, warm up. Eagle Eye, Grizz, get shakes. Oh, uh, what's the strategy again? Uh, you run straight at block. Oh, right. Ha! Oh. 
You'd think Technicali would at least send their number one striker to do business with Block. Like block? Yes! <laughs> I mean, what was that? Whatever happened to fair play? Keep it tidy, block. Another one, and the card's coming out. Shakes! Shakes! I don't get it. Where did he go? because the final stop on our tour is the Strikerland Garage. <laughs> well, there you have it, Brenda. Technically, go one ahead. All thanks to a surprisingly poor performance from Block. Who would have thought? First, a missing striker. Now, a defender whose brain's gone missing? North. Uh, uh, Shakes? Don't let anyone know I've been here. That's not Block. It's Roblox. Yeah, and I always take advice from dudes hiding in lockers. He put me in here. He finds out you're onto him and you're next. You need to get him out of here. Block, what is wrong with you? Pixelblogger, grab the goo. Oh, I know this one. Block's uh, hitting the showers. Right, Block? Since when do you speak Breslovian? I've been taking night classes. <laughs> that isn't Block. It's Roblox. Hmm. Yeah, right. The dangerous tackling, weird Brislovian, cold, steely demeanor? Well, we're about to find out if I'm right. Why is that, Shakes? Robots don't take showers. So if that's Roblox, where's Blow? <laughs> Super Strikers drive only the coolest vehicles. Well, there's our tour guide. Someone switched the robot's processors. Shakes, you were right, dude. But where is Block? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Block! Ah! Ah, Block and Block! He says we've got to go on for the second half, or we'll forfeit the game. <laughs> 
Michael Blah. Don't worry, he's got this. Can't wait for him any longer. Huh? huh? They didn't sub him? Looks like your work isn't done, John J. Johnson Jr. Uh, block! You did it! Uh, I think. The second half is about to start, and Super Strikers have a lot of work to do. Well, Coach should have started by subbing Block. He's the reason they're losing. Woo! Block's gonna finish John J. Johnson Jr. once and for all! And get what he deserves, a red card. It's vintage block. Smooth, slick, and effective. Oh, I'm too clever. My invention has learned to play like the best defender in the league. <laughs> Sorry, Tony. You're wrong. No one can play like the block. Largo Zero! Largo Blow Zero! No, no, no! Wow! What a turnaround! Whatever was troubling Block in the first half is ancient history. And where is your very scary twin? Huh? But so I'm hanging from Strike Land. Roblox about to ditch me when suddenly I remember something. My new robot friend. And now for the final part of our tour. Ta-da! Uh, uh, B. I need to close Smaggle Flare. Copy. Eh, I think Prof should just make a robot that looks like me next time. But. How do we know we aren't all robots already? Ow! You think you're going to be able to handle this, Shakes? Yeah. I've been working on a killer new move. The only thing you're going to hear from the Sultans fans is, no, how does Shakes do it? Ah! And what about you, Spenza? It's going to be difficult to chant louder than them. Ha! You're talking to a super fan, son. We're the loudest in the business. Ooh, Nico's in a promise. 
promising position. Wow! The Sheik wants the home fans to make even more noise. That's even possible! We've got a lot of work to do. Miko, what happened out there, dude? We were ready, prepared, but that sound. Come on, brother. You've played plenty of mega stadiums before. You cannot understand it until you are out there. Hmm. I've never seen Miko that spooked by, well, anything. That's why we're doing extra preparation to handle the Sultan's fans. Prof? You may be used to lifting uh, dumbbells, but today you will have to contend with decibels. What? Exactly. Decibels and watts are both ways to measure loudness. The first challenge when playing in front of a noisy crowd is communication. I've developed a series of, uh, hand gestures to use on the pitch. Learn them all. Sure thing. Or rather... Your budgie has toothache? Uh, perhaps I need a little more time to learn them. All right, super fans. Our mission... The Goliath. 200 restaurants, 130 shops, movie theaters, arcades, ice rink, petting zoo. I can't promise all of you will make Spencer! it loud. Super friend! <laughs> uh, just getting the crew G'd up for the Sultan's game. Let's focus on out singing the Sultan's fans, not out shopping them, yeah? <laughs> All right, guys. I've got some awesome new chants to try out. But first, warm ups. One, two, three! <gasps> okay, boys. You've learned the hand signals. Some of you have learned the hand signals. The second challenge when playing in front of a massive crowd is how you handle the noise. Come on, coach. The fans don't make that much difference. Pros like us have perfect concentration. What are we talking about again? According to my calculations, this should be... A perfect simulation of the Goliath! His new move. Is a hostile environment like the Goliath really the best place to try a new technique? Let's find out. What was that? We didn't even wake up Sandra. Again! And this time, make it count. Aye, aye, aye. Mm. Whoa. Nice. This is great. Oh, right on. <laughs> Super Strikers, welcome to the Goliath. I have no doubt it will overwhelm you with its facilities. Food, clothes, accessories, cinemas, an ice rink, a petting zoo. Goliath has everything you could possibly want. And you, as my guests, 
can access it all with your very own personal GoPa. Whoa, thanks, Whoa. Hey. Very kind of you, Shake. But the only thing we have time for right now is football. You taught him the hand gestures? The stadium is full of spiders? We gotta get out of here! Never mind. So, what do you think of the Goliath? Dude! I wanna live here! So many awesome things to check out! Well, this all-access Go Pass might help. <gasps> I will only use this mighty tool for the power of good! And maybe some snacks. It's go time! <laughs> at Goliath Stadium. Then I have to say, Super Strikers are looking cool as ice. Say it! You have to shout it in this stadium! All right, guys. Let's show these Sultans fans how it's done. One, two, three. Super Strikers rule the pitch and we control the stands. Goliath cheers for had a chance against the Super Fans. <laughs> Where are you? Ah, oh, go pass. How I love thee. Oh, man, I gotta get field side. But I'm not gonna last 90 minutes. It's go time. Super Strikers look to assert themselves early on. And so do their fans. You might as well admit defeat the balls and dance and cross the street. He's making shapes. And when he shoots, I don't know what happened. I had that move down. Playing in front of all these fans is totally different to training. Maybe keep it simple next time, Shake Smart. Yeah, give the ball to the player with the perfect... Uh, concentration? That's the stuff. Ah, much better. <gasps> but I'm so late! Friend's gonna be mad. Shortcut! <laughs> Go time! Huh? Hey, I thought this thing was all access! The home support blunted Super Striker's attack! Now, can they help Sultans take the lead? <laughs> Not if North Shaw can help it. Go to the south or the east or the west, but if you head north, you'll be dispossessed. Wow, the Super Strikers fans are really doing their part. But there's nothing compared to this whole crowd. That's like Sultans have a 12th player on the pitch.
What are you doing here? What indeed? This area is off limits to to everyone. Everyone. Uh, go pass. <laughs> and don't come back ever. ever. Wow, pretty decisive first half, eh, Brenda? Yep. The team with the most fans wins. Nico was right. You really don't know what it's like till you're out there. I don't know, guys. There's something weird about that noise. That sounded like a million people, not 150,000. Yeah, uh, where are they hiding, Shakes? The ice rink or oh, the petting zoo? Go passes. Uh, don't actually have mine on me. The Go Pass is the only way to access restricted areas. Hmm. <laughs> huh? Oh, man! Spencer! Oh. Half time? Where were you? Uh, not sure exactly. This place is big. Endless corridors. Bottomless sodas. I'm sorry. I haven't been much of a super fan. But I promise to give 120% in the second half. Huh? Shades? There's old yogurt in my tog bag. Go fetch the itching powder. You say potato, I say potato. I've got it. Something weird's going on here. Use the go-pass to investigate! Come on, friend! It's go time! Spenza, stop! What about your promise? Super Strikers need us now more than ever! Fran, being a super fan isn't just about what's in here. Or here. It's about what's going on in there! Okay, fine, Spenza P.I. Let's investigate. Hmm, but we need a way to get past those grouchy scientist peeps. Go time! Do something! This isn't working! Uh, uh, and it was then that I realized E must equal MC squared. Yeah! Happens to me all the time. Rebooting machine for second half. Power okay. Amplifiers warming up. fans weren't enough, so the Sheik added a few million decibels right underneath the pitch. Huh. No wonder Super Strikers can't handle the noise. We gotta shut this thing down somehow. And I think I know how. You mean? It's go time. Game's about to restart. Let's see if Super Strikers can make more of an impression in the second half. Uh, unlikely, Mac. Just when you thought it couldn't get any worse for the men in red, their fans desert them! Shakes, what did you say to Spenza? Whatever it was, I don't think he understood the hand signals. No ghouls and no fans. Can things get any worse for Super Strikers? There's the signal. That's a go, people. Super fans. 
Let's do this. Peeps, you can't be in here. This area is off limits. We're not going anywhere till we shut down that machine. Yeah! <laughs> Our decibel generator is made from titanium alloy. Titanium? It's practically indestructible. Practically. But we already know it's one weakness. Every machine's weakness. <laughs> Superfans, one, two, three, The Sultan's chanting, it just disappeared. I know, what happened? They did. Even I know that hand signal. Come on guys, let's win this for the fans. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Now, how about the classic? Count us in, Spens. One, two, three, four. Super Striker! Super Striker! Super Striker! Super Striker! Super Striker! Remember, Six, content! Ah, never mind, just score the goal! Super Striker! Super Striker! Hard luck, Shay. Yeah, I heard you had a sound strategy. Pity it fizzed out. <sighs> <sighs> Thanks. And I have something for you, Shakes. Uh, what's this? Your go pass bill. Okay, the bus is leaving. Gotta go. What? Who buys a hundred and thirty sodas? Wild scenes at Strikerland as the Grim Earth Sea Tour Bus rock and rolls into town. <laughs> Part of their entourage, a terrifying new move that no goalkeeper has been able to save. The Ghost Train. Let's find out more. Coach Belmont, how did you come up with the Ghost Train? I didn't. Every coach in Grimm's long history has stored their football knowledge in an ancient, powerful book. Put 
someone please close that window? Sorry! Uh, Whatever. So over the top. The ghost train does sound kind of... Don't say it, dude! Scary. Huh? Why? Really? Uh, aren't we gonna need a goalie to stop the ghost train? Yeah, why does Big Bo get time off before the game? Big Bo is doing top secret preparation for the ghost train. He's our last line of defense against them. <laughs> Strikers have a personal significance for Grim FC? Big Bo did accidentally injure your legendary striker, Spike Dawson. Not at all. Spike Dawson was a great player, but his spitefulness tainted the good name of this club. I'm glad to say we've seen the last of him. Ha! <laughs> That's what you think. My beautiful trophies. But my collection is incomplete. Not for long, though. Soon I will end Big Bo's career, just like he ended mine! And claim his gloves as my final trophy! Spike! I bank you some strudel! Mother! Don't interrupt me while I'm plotting revenge! Don't you betcha at me, young man! Sorry, Mom. Planning to leave the goalie cave anytime soon, sir? It's getting musty in here. All worth it, Albert. I'm beginning to understand how Grimm's new move works. They stay in a very tight formation to hide the position of the ball. The keeper doesn't know where the shot is coming from. My positioning and reflexes will have to be spot on to stand any chance against the ghost train. And how do you plan to achieve that, sir? The quad cannons. I told Grim FC they'd be nothing without me! Especially after I steal their precious Tactonomicon! Now, to pay Big Bo a visit. Mom! I'm stuck! Don't worry, dearie. I'll get this brutal grits. We'll get you out of there in no time. Activate quad cannons. Quad cannons activated. <laughs> yes, yes, I heard you the first thirty times. Would you like to buy some strudel, dearie? Hmm. Delicious. Come inside. I can't resist a good strudel. Why, thank you. Dearie.
contact an authorized quad cannon technician. Ah, my beautiful trophy. This revenge thing is getting really old, Spike. I won't stop until End I- End my career just like I ended yours. Like I said, old. But I'm not injured. Your plan failed. Ha! Ah, that's what you think. But you're not the only one who knows all the angles, Big Po. <clears throat> huh? Excuse me, sir. Could you help me, please? I'm terribly sorry, sir. That old woman lured me in with lies and delicious strudel. That wasn't an old woman. It was Spike Dawson. Spike Dawson? After all this time, what are we going to do about him? Nothing for now. I need to rest up for the game against Grimm. <sighs> Are you done playing with your friend, Spike? Sworn enemy, Mother! Big Bo is my sworn enemy! And the game I'm playing is only just beginning. <laughs> Super League Disciplinary Board. I have information regarding the theft of the Dectonomicon. Morning, sir. Sleep well? Yep. I'm ready to bring the ghost train screeching to a halt. Don't buy any strudel, okay? Very funny, sir. I'm Agent 1. I'm Agent 2. From, from the, the Super League, League Disciplinary Board. I don't have a number yet, but if I help crack the case, I can totally earn one! Read your agent rulebook, rookie. Rule 4.73, a Super League agent always remains calm. It keeps your mind clear and makes you look extra cool at all times. Uh, how exactly can I help you, gentlemen? We got a tip-off that Big Bo was involved in the theft of the Tactonomicon. You're not the only one who knows all the angles, Big Bo! Spike wasn't trying to injure me. He was trying to frame me. Mind if we take a look around? What makes you think Big Bo was involved in this crime? We got an anonymous tip. Besides, with Big Bo facing the ghost train, no one would have more to gain from stealing the book. I found it! I found it, I found it, I found it! Protocol, Junior. Rule 1.7. A Super League agent never smiles. There's some kind of grease on here. Same stuff we found on Grimm's bus. Big Bo is now our prime suspect. <laughs> I want Strike a Land secured immediately. Spike must have planted the Tactonomicon here last night. He's trying to get me banned for life. So, what are we going to do about it? Clearing my name would be good, but duty calls. The game, sir? At the risk of stating the obvious, there's nowhere to hide on a football pitch. Hmm. Maybe I don't have to. Here we go. The Super League Agent's Rulebook. I have a plan that'll let me play the game, stop the ghost train, and prove Spike framed me. Sounds easy enough, sir. Match night at Strikerland, And the terrifying Grim fans descend on the stadium. But they're nothing compared to the team itself. <laughs> But by far the weirdest thing tonight is Super Strikers are starting with their number two goalie, Noah Murdoch. If any goalie can stop the ghost train, surely it's Big Bo. Hear that, Brenda? Chugga, 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 chugga. Do, do. Here comes the ghost train. Where's the ball? No idea, dude. Super Strikers, I 
going to need a bigger goalie. Hold it. We're looking for someone matching your description. Never mind. Move along, kids. I'm so sorry, guys. I let you down. Don't worry, dude. No one's been able to stop the ghost train so far. Huh? Bingo? Where have you been, man? Well, Spike framed me for stealing the Tactonomicon, and now I'm kind of on the run from the SLDB. Huh? I hate to be Captain Insensitive, but did you find a way to stop the ghost train, Big Bo? Don't worry, guys. I know all the angles. Wait a second. If you can stop the ghost train, it'll totally seem like you stole the Tactonomicon. It is gonna look weird, man. Have you thought about, you know, missing the save on purpose? Yeah, some things are more important than football. Mm. Or not. I won't let Spike Dawson win. I'm gonna go out there, and I'm gonna stop the ghost train. How are you even gonna get on the pitch? This place is crawling with Super League agents. With a bit of luck and a bit of help from the Super League rule book. The good news for Super Strikers fans is that the hapless Noah Murdoch has been taken off. And the uh, bad news, Mac, is that they haven't replaced him. Super Strikers are starting the second half without a goalkeeper. Big Bo, stop right there. Rule 54.72, know the suspect. You put your whole career at risk just to learn how to stop the ghost train. There's no way you'd miss this game. You you guys got it all wrong. I didn't steal the Tactonomicon. I was framed by Spike Dawson. Give yourself up, Big Bo. You've got nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. I don't need to hide. Rule 7.94. Ah, go tell me. I know this one. <laughs> no Super League agents are allowed on the field during game time. Slip through our fingers. I want him apprehended the moment the final whistle blows. Affirmative. 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 With Big Bo back on the pitch, do Super Strikers have a chance against Grimm? We're about to find out, Brenda. Affirmative. <laughs> All right, guys. Big Bo risked everything for this team. Let's make it worth his while. Affirmative. It's a goal. This is an outrage. Big Bo's a cheat. The name Spike Dawson ring any bells? Big Bo claimed he set him up. Bah! Ridiculous. Spike Dawson's ancient history. Hello? Anybody home? What's that? You're on the run from the law? Oh, I'll just let myself in then. Oh, I've waited so long for this moment. With Big Bo out the way, I can finally collect my trophy. What? No, no! 
This can't be! Grim FC on the attack oh. again. But this time, the mighty Big Bo stands between them and the goal. Huh? He's playing? Those gloves will be mine. <laughs> so far, so good. It's all up to you now, sir. Big Bo helped his team level the scores. But his real challenge is about to begin. <laughs> the ghost train. <laughs> Can't believe I'm saying this, but kind of hope Big Bo misses. I know what you mean, man. Affirmative. You really need some new lines, son. Affirmative. Strudel? <laughs> huh? Crunchy, delicious strudel? Strudel? Get your hot strudel! <gasps> gotcha. <laughs> huh? We're well into injury time. Will Big Bo prevail? Or will the ghost train ride him down? I have to lure Spike out into the open, or I'm done for. But how? Ah, my beautiful trophy. Positioning and reflexes will have to be spot on. Big Bo's taking the gloves off, <laughs> literally. He's really bought into the whole showmanship thing. Big Bo will pay for his disrespect. <laughs> For Big Bo's gloves. Hey, isn't that Spike Dawson? Gotcha. What? Big Bo was telling the truth. All agents move in. Get Spike, Spike Dawson. Dawson. You did it! <laughs> oh, thanks, guys. This soccer mystery of the century and all the strudel you can eat, and I missed them both. Luckily, Big Bo catches everything. Yeah, man. You really weren't kidding when you said you had all the angles covered. How did he fit in there? Strudel grease. Ew. Hey, isn't that the same stuff they found on Grimm's bus and on the Tectonomicon? Great work, Junior. You've earned these. <laughs> Protocol, Greenhorn. A Super League agent never smiles. But we'll allow it this one time, Agent 3. 127. Oh, Spike Dawson! What have I told you about playing in the garbage? Uh, sorry, Mother. Well, come on, then. Let's go home. Welcome to the Super League's roughest fixture. Invincible United versus Iron Tank. And today's showdown will be even more intense than usual. The winner gets a place in the Super League final. Super Strikers secured their spot last week and will no doubt be keeping a close eye on this game. Uh -huh. oh, got that you right. got it. The 
these guys suck. We would have scored four goals by now. Totally. Yeah. Please, dudes. The defenders are owning this game. Mm, defenders. Oh, you mean those guys I run past when I score the goals? The goal. Automatic to take the throw in. Can United make something of this? I don't know, Mac. He's pretty far from the box. This is not good. from Invincible United, and it's all thanks to their new star man, Automatic! Yep, unless Super Strikers find a way to stop him, it'll be automatic victory for United in the final. Berserker, berserker, sir. Yep, we're totally done for. But you guys can stop anything in the air. Yeah, can't you just header it away? Headering ain't gonna help us against the long throw. Hey, eh? what are you talking about? A cross or a corner needs height to get distance, but Automatic's throw comes in low and hard, like a cannonball. The slightest touch from anyone, even your own defenders, and the ball's in the back of the net. Yep. Mm. Whoa. Like a cannonball, hey? Eh? I think I know someone who can help us. Virgo, Virgo. Yeah, coach. This heading guru may have helped shakes, but defensive heading is totally different. Trust me, dudes. His methods are a little unusual. Power! His facilities are kind of low-tech. Accuracy! And he's really demanding. Guts! But when it comes to headers, no one's better than El Ariete, the battering ram. All right, all right. That training does sound kinda hardcore. Kinda? I'm the only player who ever passed. Shakes is right. If anyone can get you ready to face automatic, it's El Ariete. You have one week before the final. Make it count. Shakes, chances are this dude's waiting for us with a cannon. Uh -oh. All right, let's show El Ariete the Super Striker's defense is ready for anything. Strikers, welcome to header training. Have a complimentary gift bag. Uh, I was not ready for that. If you want to learn how to header, you must master three simple skills. First, power. <laughs> Accuracy. <laughs> and guts. Hello? Shakes, El Ariente's training is the worst. Yay! This place is a theme park, a tourist trap, a total gimmick. Are you sure it's the same El Ariete? Because the training I did was insane. Maybe you forwards just don't understand the meaning of real hardcore oh. training. If you don't believe me, just look in El Ariete's book of graduates. My name is the only one in there. <sighs> Whatever. Huh. 
We are just as hardcore as the Defenders. Yeah, in fact, I'm going to the day spa right now to get all these hardcore knots massaged out of my muscles. Yeah, good idea. I'm going to ask him to make my hot heart treatment extra hot. Come on, dude. We've wasted enough time here. The real training? Come on. Chase doesn't know what he's talking about. I mean, the dude thinks a jumping castle is hardcore. <laughs> okay, fine, fine. We look for the book. Where do you think El Ariente keeps it? If it even exists. And then we do 300 push-ups, wrestle a moose, and run up a mountain backwards. We are that hardcore. So, does that answer your question? Uh, no. I asked how North and Block plan to stop Automatic's throw-in. <laughs> Those slackers are relaxing in Ibiza. <gasps> Suspicious. There's no way Coach would give his defenders time off before the final. Doesn't matter, Vince. We've got him. We can't lose. Wrong. Automatic's throw is only the first step to guarantee our victory. And what's step two? Sabotage, of course. Those slackers are relaxing in Ibiza. <gasps> so, what's in Ibiza? The battering ram. is more like it. What are you doing here? Looking for the real header training. The one you gave Shakes? It is the same training Shakes got. Just in a safer, more controlled environment. We're about to face an unstoppable throw-in. We need the most hardcore header training there is. We need the battering ram. Sorry. That's just not me anymore. <sighs> Your training was so hardcore, only one player ever made it through. Now you hand out certificates to whoever shows up. Yep, it was worth a shot. Hot shots! You want the real head of training? You got it! Not bad, hot shots. When news of Shake's training got out, everybody wanted lessons. And, like you, they were very persistent. So eventually I gave them what they wanted. But I had already created my masterpiece. Something I thought I would never use. The ultimate header training. So, no one's passed this? Ha! Huh. No one's even seen it. Huh? Hey! I thought we were the first people to come down here. Those aren't people. 
gives us hardcore for it's a bad name. I'll take a holiday when I'm dead. Yeah. Or if the weather's nice. Or if there's a sale on clothes. Guys, that isn't a holiday. It's sabotage. My machine will teach you to defend against this so-called unstoppable throw-in. If you hot shots are up to the job. I've never seen a barrel score such an easy goal. Then start coaching, bro. What do we do? Stop behaving like defenders. Forget about the opposition. Attack the ball like a forward. No man marking? But that, that goes against everything we've ever learned. No risk. No reward. Aw, oh, closed. This sucks. So, where's this famous heading coach? Don't know. He's taking the day off. Or maybe he's giving private lessons. <laughs> Come on, hot shots! I thought you were meant to be hardcore! Yes, you did it! <laughs> A Virgo! All right! Yeah! Now, to get you home in time for the Super League fight. Huh? A Virgo! Sorry, losers, but Invincible United are gonna finish top of the ladder this season. <laughs> now what, hot shots? Think we can make it? No risk, no reward. Uh, not exactly what I meant, but... Defenders finally show up. You guys aren't the only ones who did hardcore training. We walked on the hot pavement. Barefoot. And only waited 10 minutes after eating before taking a swim. And? Did you learn how to stop automatics throw? Hello. Yeah, turns out the trick is to attack the ball like a forward. Haha! <laughs> Told you guys forwards were the most hardcore. Block and North may be able to stop automatic, but it'll take all of you to win the trophy. One, two, three, Super Striders! So I drop it right, and I'm like, we're gonna finish top of the lap, huh? That's why I have three steps to guarantee victory. Oh yeah, and what's the third? Always have an ace up your sleeve. Okay, Mr. Buckethead. 
I have one last mission for you. <laughs> Welcome to the Super League Final. Invincible United versus Super Strikers. Great reception for both sides today. And great reception for me. <laughs> United must be the favorites here. Even the mighty Iron Tank had no answer for automatic throw-in. Can Super Strikers defense do any better? Game on! Easy to guess Invincible United's game plan. Yep, get the ball out. And into Automatic's deadly hands. Unusual positioning from North and Block. You need to mark a man. Yeah, that's what we thought. I hope you two know what you're doing. Mm. And there it is, the deadly long throw. Win a game, Brenda. Indeed. If it carries on like this, it's going to penalties. Ha! About time. All right, boys, T sharp. Only three minutes more. Uh, guys. They're bringing their goalie forward? An extra man? This completely tips the balance in United's favor. But it does give us a chance to hit them on the counter. Yeah, if we can get back possession. And quickly, too. So, any ideas? You sure, dude? That sounds super risky. No risk. Last chance of the game. Will the goalie make the difference? Well, he seems to have Super Strike a spook. North and Block are finally marking United. And here's the run-up from Automatic. Oh! What a throw! What is Block doing? He sent the ball directly towards his own goal! What? Super Strike has planned that. <laughs> now that's risky. How fast can you run? Get back! Everyone, get back! I suppose that proves it. Defenders and forwards are soft. Goalkeepers are the most hardcore. <laughs> hey! What's so funny? So much for your three-step plan, Vince. I never said there were only three steps. <sighs> really? What's next? If you can't beat them, join them. What do you want? Oh, uh, just some ex-students. Burger, burger! A chance! That move was the riskiest thing I have ever seen! So, you're gonna take your own advice and stick to real header training? No risk, no reward, right? Yes. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> Welcome to header training! 
Oh man, clean your locker day is the worst. Shakes! <laughs> hmm, I suppose my locker is a little untidy. No ways! My adventure annuals! I loved these when I was a kid. Oh, this one's my favorite. About a hundred years ago, a Brazilian businessman named Albert Douglas Ventura took on the most insane football project ever. Building a stadium in the middle of the Amazon jungle. Ooh. But the extreme location made construction a nightmare. His crew bailed on him, but Ventura stuck it out, refusing to abandon his dream. You do know that's totally made up, right? Yeah, of North. course. <laughs> The lost stadium is totally real, Shakes. Oh, yeah? And where's Ventura now? He never returned from the jungle. Anacondas, piranhas, panthers! The Amazon is a dangerous place. Brazil has something even more dangerous than all of that. And he's coming to strike a land. Match day at Strikerland! And Super Strikers are struggling to deal with Palmentieri Starman. The Master of Flair. The Samba King. John Aldo! Welcome to the end of the row. Ha! You think you can stop my Samba style? That's cute. Skilled as me, you do as you please. Ha <laughs> The Brazilian maestro has made the league's best defenders look like amateurs. They had no answer for his unpredictable style. Sure. You'll never stop Donaldo by diving in recklessly. You need to focus on the ball, not the man. Yeah, not the ground either, dude. This isn't good, man. Don Aldo seriously damaged their confidence. That's an understatement. We've got one defender who's playing too aggressively, and another who isn't playing at all. Come on, Block. Just one tackle, a little one. Please? <laughs> He says he's fine, as long as his teddy sharing him helps him practice. Those two need a break, a chance to get their heads back in the game. How are we gonna do that and get them to Rio in time for the return leg? I think I have a way. <whistles> North, Block, I'm sending you on a confidence building session in the Amazon before the game. A jungle adventure? At a luxury hotel. What? But it's the Amazon jungle, coach. It's meant to be about danger and excitement, not room service and little tiny shampoo bottles. The hotel has all the facilities and privacy you'll need to focus on stopping Donaldo. And who are we meant to play against? The bellboy? The world's greatest strike force. <gasps> Have I ever told you guys I was a junior wilderness cadet? I promise to use my cadet survival skills to keep us safe in the Amazon. Yeah, Klaus. Maybe you can get your ordering room service badge. Uh, I got that one ages ago. You gotta try to make the most of the situation, dude. Whatever. Whatever. 
And here's my junior wilderness cadet navigation badge, my campfire badge, my air guitar badge, my mime badge, my listing things badge, my crochet badge, my life of the party badge, my pancake eating badge, my growing up badge, my not understanding social cues badge. Whoa, this is gonna be epic. Glad to see you're making the most of the situation. No point in complaining. Yep. Totally gonna make the most of the situation. Come on out! This jetty has been certified safe by a junior wilderness cadet! Hold up, North! Coach said someone from the hotel was meeting us here. Come on, the place is just around the corner. Besides, we need to start practicing ASAP. Right? Yeah, but... We got our gear, we got the players, all we need is the pitch. Okay, but only if you're sure you know where the hotel is. Don't worry, dude. I know exactly where we're going. Dancing Rasta. That was the hotel. North and the others didn't make their rendezvous. What? They're somewhere in the jungle. You're in charge till I get back. But coach, they're lost in the Amazon. That'll be like trying to find... Uh, some guys lost in the Amazon. Then I'd better get started. Um, what is that stuff? Oh, this? Volcanic ash and... watermelon. Yeah, I fly some unusual jobs. You're hired. Name's Mara. Where are we headed? North, didn't you say the hotel was right around the corner? Chillax! It's a big corner! Yeah, what is that? I've got the Junior Wilderness Cadet Sound Identification Badge. It's a panther growl. No, 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 no. It's a wind. Hmm, perhaps thunder? I've got it! It's a waterfall! <gasps> hang out in some lame hotel when we can go on an epic adventure. <gasps> you didn't. That's right. We're gonna find the lost stadium. That's insane. It's some made-up story. It doesn't exist. Um, Shakes? My junior wilderness cadet observation skills tell me that it might. Contact to arrange the pickup somewhere down there. That'll be a fun landing. You sure about this? I've got a game to win. on the right path. We're supposed to be training for the Palma game, not going on some crazy treasure hunt. But that's the best part, dude. We can practice in the Lost Stadium. An actual pitch will be so much better than some hotel field. And it's not like we can go back to the baby came. 
You do know this is the worst plan ever, right? Chill! It's an adventure, dude! <sighs> well, come on, Mr. Ventura. Lead the way. Okay, you were right. The Lost Stadium is real. Now come on, let's go do some long overdue training. Ah! Ouch! Oh, hmm. So much better than some hotel field, eh, North? <sighs> yeah. all over the place. I can't follow it. Uh, oh, great. Stuck in the middle of nowhere and we can't train? Don't worry, guys. I'll use my Junior Wilderness Cadet training to come up with a rescue plan. We'll be out of here in no time at all. We'll never get out of here. And it's all my fault. <sighs> Because I'm a fake! I got all my Junior Wilderness Cadet badges on the internet. Wait, you didn't even have to go outside? Well, I had the window open. It's totally not your fault, Klaus. It's mine. Being dominated by Don Aldo, it, it totally messed me up. But instead of facing up to it, I, I dragged us into some crazy adventure. Tracker in Sheringham. I figured he'd be the one thing you wouldn't leave behind. So, did you at least manage to do some training? Pitch is covered with roots. It's too unpredictable. Unpredictable, eh? Get some rest, boys. We train at first light. of looking good if your friends aren't here to appreciate your awesomeness. I kind of even miss Shake Smelly Socks. <sighs> no. Listen up, guys. If Coach says he's gonna find our brothers, he'll do it. And we gotta do our part by giving Palma the toughest game of their lives. 
We play our hearts out for the first 45. Keep the score at nil-nil. We can do that, right? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Then come on. Let's get out there and do it for our brothers. <laughs> yeah. One, Rattle. two, three. <laughs> Super Strikers! Game on! I've never seen Super Strikers use such a defensive formation. Not surprising, considering half their team hasn't shown up. What is Coach thinking? No idea. He's missing too. Can the reserve defender stop the Samba King? Huh? They don't have to. Dancing Rasta makes a brilliant tackle. It's all hands on deck for Super Strikers. Even their most attacking players are helping out in defense. <clears throat> but my question is, how long can they keep it up? <sighs> We're almost at half time. Don't let it slip now. And here comes Paul Mentieri again. This must be the final attack of the half. And for once, Donaldo makes it past Dancing Rasta. Can the reserve defenders stop the Samba King? <laughs> nope! His movements are just too unpredictable! No! Ecstasy for Paul Ventieri, but agony for Super Strikers. second half is about to start, and we have unconfirmed reports coming in that... Brenda! Could it be? But the way North Shaw and Block played last game, Coach might be better off sticking with the reserves. And the second half is underway. After last game, I thought you two would run off scared. I'm gonna make you wish you had. Now remember, watch the ball, not the man. Coach, we tried this and failed hard. The pitch is too unpredictable. Come on, dude. I know this isn't ideal, but... We've gotta make the most of our situation, right? Unpredictable pitch is the perfect way to prepare for an unpredictable player like Donaldo. But how's it gonna help us if we can't get back in time for the game? Don't worry about that. Our ride is almost here. But before we leave, I want to try one more drill. I've seen what the defenders have learned. Now it's the forward's turn. <laughs> with you, Coach. Actually, I've got one more job for you. 
This is how to soak away those aches and pains. Yeah, I think I just earned my ultimate relaxation badge. <laughs> Guys, come look at this. Remember when North said Alberto Ventura never made it out of the jungle? Yeah? That's because he spent the rest of his life chilling in this hotel. <laughs> it's just as well North isn't here to see this. I still don't get why he'd want to miss out on some mega relaxation. North hmm? hates this stuff, remember? So I gave him another chance to take on nature. <sighs> 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 